More reports spill the beans on the Galaxy S6 variants for MWC 2015. HTC's smartwatch plans seem to go beyond just Android Wear. And believe it or not, Apple is now worth more than Microsoft and Google combined. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, I think the sound is fixed, so now if I could only figure out the studio lighting. This is Pocket Out Daily, brought to you by Lynda.com. The official news today have to do with Apple. Love it or hate it, the company broke another record. As of yesterday, it was the first company in U.S. history to close with $700 billion in market capitalization, which is just crazy, but uh, the stock market went even crazier today. As of the time of recording of this video, Apple was worth $722 billion after what happened, and uh, that means that it's now worth more than Google and Microsoft combined, which are shy of $711 billion combined together. That's really crazy for a company that builds only a couple of smartphones, a couple of tablets, computers, and software. Uh, but as Tim Cook mentioned in his interview today, well, a lot of it has to do with the China growth, which went from a $1 billion business to a $38 billion business in a few years, and it continues to grow. And Apple is expecting more. Let's see what the Apple Watch brings. Now let's move the spotlight over to Apple's biggest competitor, Samsung, as uh, we have Bloomberg reporting that they have trusted very trusted sources confirming what we should expect for March 1st with the Galaxy S6. And it pretty much repeats most of the things that we've already heard. Number one, we've got two devices, one with a wraparound, which is an edge display, and another one with a regular display. Uh, both devices will have a 5.1 inch display as well. And uh, apparently there are some very interesting specifications like the Samsung processor that we've already talked about, etc. Links in the description to hear what we are getting. Hopefully we should learn more on March 1st. Now, one of the biggest mysteries of 2015 is the HTC One M9. Not because we don't have enough leaks, we do. The problem is that apparently HTC is using decoys, so we don't really know what the device looks like. And uh, even though we are not fans of concepts or renders, if you remember, EvLeaks got these really interesting leaks of the front panel of the device, and uh, we've got this designer providing us some very interesting final designs that we should expect for the HTC One M9. And uh, every single one of the elements is considered here from the back that we've seen in leaks to the front that we saw from EvLeaks. Really interesting photos. Look at the links in the description because uh, hopefully the device looks this beautiful indeed. And speaking of HTC, let's begin the rumors on the HTC Petra, as apparently this is the code name for the company's first smartwatch. And reports are that uh, it won't be an Android Wear smartwatch. Apparently it'll be running this RTOS. RTOS. And apparently this OS is going to be based on Android somewhat probably a forked version of Android, but it'll actually be built to support both iOS and Android, and most probably Windows Phone, given the fact that we have HTC Windows Phones in the market. And there are some very interesting additional leaks that we are waiting to confirm. We're most likely not gonna hear about this product at MWC, but hopefully we're wrong. And finally, for the very interesting and disappointing news of the day, we've got some statistics on wearables, and it's not a pretty picture. In a full year, the full fiscal year of 2014, only 4.6 million units were sold. And we're talking about all wearables, Pebble, Android Wear, and everything. And that's what we actually want to talk about. Android Wear barely made 15% of that market, meaning they only sold 720,000 smartwatches last year which is really crazy considering the fact that we've got some really cool Android Wear devices. And there is so much Android in the world. It's the biggest platform in the world. Why is it that Android Wear has not sold as much as the rest of its competitors? And it leads me to the question of the day. What do you think is wrong with Android Wear for it not to sell so well? In my case, I'll be honest with you, bad battery life. That is pretty much it for me. If it had great battery life, I wouldn't care. Uh, but leave us a comment down below. What do you think is wrong with Android Wear? And folks, if you've ever wanted to become a pro in business, cook your own meal, or hey, even build a video like this one, there are thousands of awesome courses at our sponsor, lynda.com slash pocket now. That's L-Y-N-D-A dot com slash pocket now for a free 10-day trial. You also know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.